Welcome guys back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. Uh, I know some of you who, who've been following my station, my channel, <clears throat> they may have seen this multimeter uh, several times. Me doing the uh, reviews on it, comparing it, uh, you know, testing it, things like that. But uh, I was using it today and that's what kind of sparked me to do this uh, video today about it. Uh, I want to make, uh, this video is about, this is, this is a real nice multimeter. Very nice multimeter. Also, it's one of the most underrated multimeters on the market. Now, it's not new. It's not new. It's been out a while. Um, you know, a little after the 289 by Fluke came out. But this is a real nice multimeter. Um, it's well built. I know it's almost like a copycat from a Fluke, the Fluke 289. I, I do know that it's almost like a clone of that multimeter. In fact, it, you know, it is. It's just that uh, certain things on here, you know, uh, they've enhanced. They've had a chance to enhance because it came out a few years after Fluke. Uh, as far as like, uh, say for example, just say the buttons. Fluke buttons on a 289 uh, is not as big as these. You know, it's these like these buttons here like on steroids, basically. But uh, it's a real nice backlight. It's this color display, things like that. They just took some things from the. I think in, uh, Edge Tech bought a Fluke uh, 289 and just studied it and just say, well, whatever they got here, we're gonna make it bigger or make it better. So they had a chance to upgrade. But you know, all in all, I think the Fluke is still number one uh, data logging meter on the market. But uh, this meter is a real nice uh, uh, meter also. And it's, again, it's one of the most underrated uh, graphical multimeters on the market. Uh, the only people who I've seen that, that uh, with this meter beside myself, one other video, um, I think the guy named is Martin, M, uh, Martin L. Jordan or Lorton or something like that. He did a review on one of these meters like this. And he's the only guy I've seen with one of these multimeters. This, this, this. This thing is, is, is top notch. I'm telling you, it's top notch. I just want to tell you some of the features about it. Those of you who haven't seen my past videos on this multimeter, uh, let me give you some of the specifications of it and what it, the features that it has. And um, I'm not going to test anything, I'm just talking about it right now. Uh, but anyway, the general, I'm, and I'm reading out of the manual, the manual, the model number for the model number for this multimeter is uh, the GX900. By by uh, Tech True R, True RMS graphical multimeter with Bluetooth capabilities. Um, the enclosure is double molded. Shock uh, shock drop test for six six and a half feet. They have diode test, continuity uh, check, peak temperature sensor, input input uh, impedance, AC response. True R and S is True RMS. Uh, ACV bandwidth, press factor, display, memory. Overrange indication, auto power off, polarity, measurement rate, low battery indication. I uh, have the fuses in there, safety fuses, uh, operating temperature, uh, operating humidity, storage temp, operating uh, altitude, and uh, Bluetooth specification, built in lithium. Mm, I guess that's just for the memory after you take the bath, built, built in lithium. And they say it weighs a pound. Over a pound and a half, something like that. And as far as electrical specification, it has DC function, AC function, AC DC function, DC current, AC current, um, AC voltage, let me see, resistance, capacitance, frequency, duty cycle, RPM, clamp AC or DC. You can use a clamp for, uh, uh, let's see, a temperature, type K. Uh, let me see what else. And that's it. Now, what you see here, um, it doesn't cut, it came with these leads right here. It came with these leads, and it came with, I don't I don't have any, but it came with some real nice test probes. And I, I don't have them up here, now. I'm using them for another meter. But because I, I, I've exchanged them out for these Edge Tech, fused test probes and that's what I use with all my testers so that's what I put in here and that's why I've changed out the regular probes uh, 
this comes off if need be, if you need it that way. But anyway, um, it came, um, these are the test probes that came with it. I bought these separately. This this is by Etch uh, Tech also. And these are really nice, very nice test probes. I mean, the test leads, really nice, really nice. And uh, these are uh, heavy duty. They are, I will compare these to the Fluke. I think it's TL 27, Test Leads 27. I have several of those, and these are really heavy duty. I mean, the thickness of these is, it's not your average um, uh, uh, multimeter leads. They're not. Uh, these, these like clips right here that I put in, uh, that I use with this, these are uh, from Pro, this is from uh, Pro Master. And I'm sure y'all heard of Pro Master. They make some really nice quality stuff, high quality stuff. So this is from Pro Master. These, from Etch Tech. This is from Etch Tech too. These two are alligator clips, and they're nice, very nice, very nice. Now, uh, let me show you something. Let me show you how much it weighs. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but I'll show you how much it weighs. Yep, yeah. one pound fourteen ounces. And they have a lot of a lot of features. They take nine AA batteries in here, and in all of my um, instruments, I always use recycled. I mean, uh, rechargeable batteries. Like here goes some right here. I always use rechargeable batteries. This is these are dual cells, and so if you don't want the batteries exploding in your test instruments, I always get rechargeable batteries. But keep an extra set on hand, and I don't care how long you leave them in there, they won't explode. Uh, it'll just drain, just drain out, but they won't explode. At least I haven't had any explode on me, and I've been using it for a while now. So, uh, and I don't use regular batteries anymore, except like for the remote around the house. You know, I buy a pack of double A's and, and use those. But this, this, this uh, multimeter has a lot of functions on it. You have set up just like the um, set up just like the two eighty nine fluke. Um, you can just scroll down, scroll down. Scroll across. I don't know if you guys can see that. Scroll across. And if you want to exit out of there, you just do, let's do menu. And you can also scroll down or scroll across and go to wherever you're going at with this. And um, you can also set up, set up for uh, logging if you like. That's logging. I think I've been there already. Press OK. Threshold, we're gonna leave that like that. We're gonna edit. And now you get ready to set it up for um, for recording. Let me see. Yeah, set it up for recording. And this have a graph uh, graphic um, this is a graphical meter also, just like the 289. And you will love this 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 double molded housing, right? It doesn't come off. This 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 rubber housing right here don't come off, but it's real thick. This meter is like a tank. It's, it's, it's really heavy to say it's a multimeter. It's not over like a brick or anything like overweight, but it's, it's it's not hollow. It doesn't have no hollow feel. It doesn't have a cheap feel or anything. And uh, when I first bought this meter, I always wanted one, but they're hard to find. And the one, you know, and, and I finally got my hands on one. In fact, this is my second one. Uh, when I got my hands on one, and you know, I, I collect meters, some of my meters I use, some of my just, you know, I, I, cause I, I, I like to collect meters, multimeters. And um, so I said, I'm gonna get my hands on one, and I did. And when I first compared it against the Fluke, I looked at it as being a clone, because it was. And most graphical multimeters on the market today, they are clones of the 280, uh, from Fluke 289. The Unity has one um, that's a clone. Uh, uh, they have a lot of meters on the market right now that has cloned the Fluke. 289 as far as the, the structure of it, the, the design of it. But uh, this is a real nice meter. Let me see. And, and it's very accurate, too. The only thing I don't like about it right now, about this meter, that I, I can't update the software. But, uh, you know, if, if you can live with that, that's okay. Because you can't update, you can't update the software in the Fluke 87 either. So, you know, you can send it off, get it recalibrated, if, uh, recalibrated if that's what you want. And But, you know, it's... it's it's, it's really nice. So if you run, guys, if you run across one of these meters like this and you see it for a good price and it's in good shape, uh, you know, you get it. I really get it. 
you know, uh, I wouldn't want to carry this around with me out, you know, in the field. I mean, like my everyday meat in the field, I use it on the bench or else if I'm doing uh, specialty work, I'm uh, logging something and, you know, troubleshooting. Yeah, then I'll bring this out. But uh, I do trust it as far as accuracy. Um, they have some uh, HRC fuses in here. And um, I, I mean, I think it's safe. I really do think it's safe. I don't see all the safety uh, accredited places that Fluke bought theirs to to get it tested. But I really do think that it's, it's, it's safe, made in China. But um, I really think that I think it's a safe multimeter. And I like it. And I just wanted to put it out here today, guys, and let you guys see. And um, just tell you about one of the great multimeters that's very underrated. So uh, with that being said, guys, uh, let me see. I hope I just covered everything. Cause like I said, I've done a video on this before, but not. Uh, I, well, I did one video about uh, being this multimeter before, talking strictly about this multimeter, but it was a long time ago. But I really do love this multi, uh, this 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 uh, multimeter, and I do use it a lot. You know, I very seldom use my two eight nine because I have so many multimeters. So most of them uh, just be sitting around on the bench. And right now I'm in the process of uh, getting um, uh, building me another um, a little like bench workbench, and uh, in the room I got me a nice little room to put it in. So, um, but it, but guys, I want to thank you for letting me take the time up. I hope you enjoyed this short little video, and um, just to turn you guys on to one of the great underrated uh, multimeters that's on the market. Peace out.